Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, it's time to fight the ghost of Burn. Burn surrenders with King Saphiel's death. The great war that rattled the foundations of Alib is over. Roy's battle, however, is not. Roy continues his search for the Dark Priestess, believed to be the Demon Dragon. Following the legendary weapon's light, Roy heads for the Dragon Sanctuary. However, waiting for Roy at the entrance to the Sanctuary is Brunya, the last surviving Vyvern General of Burn. Will the remaining troops of Burn at her command? She awaits Roy's approach. With a heavy heart, Roy prepares to fight the ghosts of the now dead Burn. When there's something weird in your dragon shrine, who are you gonna call? Sorry, that was cringe. <clears throat> oh boy. It's chapter 23. I hate this map. <laughs> I don't like this map at all. I hate these ballista here. Uh, I should have plenty of tools to deal with them though, but I was just never a big fan of this map. Like, what I don't like about this map is that there's only really one way to go. You can go this way, but no one goes this way. Uh, so it, it really just ends up being like, uh, uh, uh. it's such a waste of space. Like this map uses like, I think that every part of a map should have something going on in it. Uh, effectively, this map just needs to have this hallway right here and then this way up here. Like there's so much wasted space and these ballistas are just so annoying. So yeah, I was never a big fan of this map. Let's go check out Brunya though. Oh, that's interesting. So there's actually a manakeet at the gate, and Bronya herself is in front of. Okay, that's interesting, actually. Um. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a lot of things. Okay, so she has the Excalibur, and she has the Aura, which grants five magic and seven luck. What the hell? She has the Death Spell, and she has Dire Bolt, skill plus five, strikes twice. That's oh god, that's a ranged siege brave tome. What the hell? That also probably means it's going to be pretty easy to kill her, though. She comes equipped with the Excalibur at base, but she'll swap to her Dire Bolt as soon as you get within her range, I think. And she'll get weighed down by that. Uh, how are, what was her stats like? Wow, 31 speed. <laughs> Damn. Uh, again, I think bosses like Bronya really would have benefited from having luck. Um, but I'm, I suppose it's okay that she doesn't have luck. Yeah, love. Oh, God. Tw level 20 heroes. Yeah, this is... Um, these guys are pulling out all the stops. Level 10 Manakeets. <laughs> Stealable Bully. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't Brunya usually have a Guiding Wing on her? God damn it. I'm never gonna promote Sophia, am I? I don't think I sold my Guiding Wing, did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't sell it. I just... I, th I think I just promoted way too many Magic users. Yeah, sorry, Sophia fans. There's just not enough Guiding Wings in this game. But yeah, let's go. Uh, Definitely gonna warp. <laughs> I don't... I have the Ekasak, I put it on Fear. Chapter 23, that goes to Burn. But it might be better on Roy. The thing about the Ekasak I'll show you is that it weighs 17s. So it slows Roy down by a lot. Sir Jan, Iden is here. I'll leave her in your care. Ha, huh. Mr. Draconic Chest here has just shown up. And what about you, human? What will you do now? I will stay here. I will face the Aturian army and my destiny. Do you have sufficient troops? The Vivan Riders scattered around the continent have returned to us. Do you have any chance of victory? Our chance of victory is minuscule at best. But we are the Burn Army, the strongest force in the league. If nothing else, we shall show them our unwavering will. Your will? Your humans are incomprehensible to us at times. Do you expect your will alone to earn victory? But so be it. I leave you in your irrational pursuit. Have you given my, the troops my message? Yes, General Bronya. I told them they are free to leave if they so wish. How many remain? Nearly all the soldiers say they still wish to fight for you. Nearly all of them? Victory is unlikely. I'm sure many of the troops have family awaiting their return. I do not want them to feel pressured to fight today. We are the Knights of Burn, milady. We have no intention of bowing our heads to Arturia. Dismiss the injured and those with young or children or elderly parents. They are forbidden from fighting in this battle. But General Bronya, that is an order. Go. You know, I do like how they make Burn very sympathetic towards the end. That's like the narrative of this chapter is really good, and I really like the rain they added. Lord Roy, the troops are prepared. Did the messenger return? Yes, but as expected, the enemy refuses to surrender. 
Was it clear that their safety would be guaranteed if they surrender? Yes, but even given that information, they apparently politely refused. Why did they fight? Burns King is defeated. Princess Guinevere, do you understand why? I do very well. Burn recognizes itself as the strongest force in Alib. Their pride does not allow them to accept defeat without a fight. The Lord Roy, the enemy is advancing. They leave us no choice. We must fight. Merlin, send Princess Guinevere to the back lines. No, I will stay here. I must listen to their cries. That is all I can do to atone for my betrothed. What? Roy, Princess Guinevere, I understand that you wish to face your kingdom. But please, you mustn't linger so close to the front lines. I'm sorry, Roy, but I've made up my mind. I'd like to fight with you? We get Guinevere? If you would allow it, please at least let me tend to the wounded. What? Oh, a choice? Oh god, but I wanna s okay. I'm gonna make um I'm gonna make a save state because I wanna see both choices here. So I'm gonna say no first. Let's see what happens. I'm sorry, but I can't. This upcoming battle is more dangerous than anything we've faced so far. Very well. I'm sorry for asking. Princess Guinevere. Okay, you get nothing. Alright. Okay, what if I say yes? Very well. I won't stop you. Roy, thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you get playable Guinevere? That's amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah, she can use her trademark light magic. That's amazing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That means I should go back and get the Orolio. Or Oroliola. Fuck, I can never pronounce that thing. Damn. Okay, so in case you guys don't know, in case you're not well versed in FE6, Guinevere is actually a playable character in FE6. It's just she's a trial map character. I think you need to beat the game five times to get her. And I actually think these are the stats she comes with. Her stats are pretty insane. She's the last character you unlock, even after Cephiel. Uh, and she could u always use light magic. I think she came with A rank in it, though. So she, her, her stats are actually in the game. And she has a palette and everything. Uh, so the fact that yeah, making her per a playable here is actually really good. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. But before we check out our growth rates, if I even have them, I don't know if I do. Um, I'm actually going to go on, like... I didn't deploy Merlinus for this chapter because I didn't actually expect that I would uh, have to fight. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put the Aureliola on uh, Elfin. Because she can probably use that with S-Rank and Light Magic, which is really nice. Alright, let's go. Okay, I don't think you can... No, you can't skip this one because it, it, it contains a choice. I wonder if there's any, like, upside to, to refusing. She's usually given you something at least, I think. But that is absolutely amazing. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Oh, she has Purge, too. I love that, too. You guys know what that means. It means we can Purge from a distance. It means we can... Uh... Oh, nice. <laughs> it means we can probably go and kill that Ballista. You know what? I'm gonna do that. What kind of stat does uh, Aurelia give you again? Is it 5 speed? No, it's Rest plus 5. Ugh. Anyway, I'm gonna go on uh, bolting that... I think you can reach the sniper from here, if you do this. Yeah, you can. There we go. God, look at that palette. Look at that. Is that not insanely cool? She looks gorgeous. There we go, and then I actually brought my longbow. My last longbow is just for this purpose right here. My nose is itching. So taking out this ballista right here makes the map so much more manageable. It's actually insane. So now, they can still reach us somewhat from this area right here. Uh, but I can send Milady, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'm, I should probably give, like, Thea or something the Maltet so she can de deal with the Vibrance. I think I'm actually gonna do that. Yeah, I'm actually gonna give her the Maltet. I don't think she needs the Horse Slayer for this one. So I'm actually gonna fly over here now. And equip the Malta, take out the Vyverns, and uh, Lelina is going to take out these Vyverns right here. And I'm gonna give her all her uh, regular supporting partners. <laughs> there we go. Garrett to back her up with. Actually, I probably don't. Gotta be a little bit careful here. Uh, I can put the Tomahawk on him. I don't want to put OJ in here because I think he might die, so I'll move him back a little bit. And yeah, uh, I do actually need to do the Hamurn. Let's see. We have a we have a mannequin here. 
Can I kill this guy with Bartra if I, if I move Bartra all the way up here? I think I... Oh, no, I'm, I'm a little bit too far away. Uh, haha. Uh -huh. Hmm. That's okay, though. I'll just do this. Roy will probably be okay, but I have five uses left on the Binding Blade. I, I don't know if I should remurn the Binding Blade, actually. But I put the, uh, where's Fear? Yeah, I put the Ekasox on Fear. It's a three-range sword, which is pretty kick-ass, but... I mean, it weighs her down by a crap ton, so I don't know how good it's gonna be. But yeah, I do have, I think I have the, I have the Hammer and I think I'm gonna Hammer in the Warp Staff. It is one of the best days to Warp, or <laughs> to Hammer I mean. Probably will do that. <coughs> do you guys think uh, Roy can take on those guys with the Echo <coughs> Ah. <coughs> What's wrong with me today? Jesus Christ. I kind of want to do it. Tempting. It's very tempting. How much does the apocalypse weigh? 16. Okay, so it slows you down quite considerably. Alright, kind of want that drag. I want to stay away from that dragon as much as possible. Thank you very much. And hopefully, Lilina can take out all those wyverns. We'll see if she succeeds or not. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's right. Corral is here. So, Sir Corral. This place will be a battlefield. So I see. I thought I could be free of war in this isolated land. What shall we do? Please don't fret. I will protect the village. Thank you, Sir Carol. You truly are worthy of the title of Sword Saint. We have nothing to fear with you protecting us. I am just an ordinary swordsman. Stories grow with time, so don't trust all that you heard. This war seems to be even greater than I realized. I wonder how my sister Carla fares. I never knew you had a sister. Is this for original? I haven't seen her in years, but she fell ill some time ago. I only hope she leads a peaceful life with her husband and daughter. I think he does mention her original in FA6, doesn't he? 73 freaking damage. But yeah, I gotta be careful. You know, I don't want to break the Binding Blade. That would actually be pretty bad. I could have earned it. It wouldn't have been the worst idea in the world, I think. Oh god, here comes the Viverns. There's a lot of Viverns on this map. Oh, whoops. Looks like I turned... Uh-oh. 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 Oh. Okay, wait. Lilina, why aren't you one-shotting with her caliber? Why aren't you one-shotting with her caliber, Lilina? Come on. Is she gonna die to a freaking ballista now? She's gonna die to a freaking ballista, isn't she? Oh, nope. Okay, good to know. Oh, uh, she's gonna die. Nope. Okay, good. Is she gonna die now? God, that's a lot of freaking vibrance. God, I think they amped up the amount of Wyverns here. God damn it. Ugh, stupid fucking game. Okay, different approach this time around. Uh, <laughs> tried not to take on as many units with Lelina this time around. And then I realized that these Wyvern Knights are really awkwardly positioned. Like, extremely much so. Does Milady have S rank Lancers? Okay, see, if I... I might actually be able to do something here if I trade the Malted around a little bit. Oh god, it actually cannot one-shot. It can one-shot this guy. Well, maybe Milady has more strength. Can only hope, right? Oh, thanks, Thea. Appreciate it. Uh, but this time around, I actually missed with my longbow and a Gren, so the sniper is not dead yet. So um, I have to... I think I, I probably need Winiver's uh, Purge. I think the longbow, yeah, longbow isn't gonna do a whole lot. It's gonna do a little bit, actually, but not a whole lot. But I, I actually need to do this now, because this guy needs to die. There we go. I kind of wish the arrow would do a little, like, a little bit of a fly, like, whew, but I know that would probably be... Actually, no, it wouldn't be hard. You just do the ballista animations. Why don't... Why don't we just use the ballista animations? That'd be nice. Like, whew! It's like a big arrow, right? So... It could work for that purpose. I'm a genius. Probably would be hard to program, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's go recruit... Uh, let's go recruit Karel, shall we? Kind of want to use Fear to fight, so it's going to have to be Bartra, does it? Karel? Bartra, what are you doing here? I fight with the Etrurian army. I didn't expect to see you here. I've traveled enough. I decided it was time to settle down. I had hoped to train my sword without distractions in this quiet village. I have something I must apologize for. Are you talking about Carla? Yes, I did all I could, but... She succumbed to her illness. Forgive me. I was too weak to save her. It is not your fault. It is I who should apologize to you. 
I wasn't at her side when she needed me the most. I wish to ask you a favor. What is it? I want this battle to end. I know how you despise warfare, but will you lend us your skills? So that's it. Very well, you have my sword. Thank you, my brother. With your skills, victory is as good as ours. I just realized I didn't check out Gwyneth's growth. I should probably do that right now. Sorry for forgetting. Uh, here they are. Oh, actually, I thought they'd be- I thought they would be way higher than this, actually. Her old growth rates weren't anything spe spe special, but then again, she was a trial map character, so it didn't really matter, but... Uh, yeah, okay, I thought- I thought they'd give her, like, 200 in every growth rate or something to make her, like, a super est, but... Eh. Okay. I, there's nothing special about this, but I don't mind. Anyway, let's check out Karel. Did they do anything with Karel, I wonder? He seems to be roughly around the same strength that he was. Some really really high skill and speed. Almost capped strength. Uh, let's see what they did. Uh, where is he? I don't actually see him here. Oh, no, there we, there we go. Uh, nah, they're, they haven't touched his growth rates. They're exactly the same, I think. Yeah, he is unchanged, but that's okay. Karel is a bit of a meme when it comes to growth rates. Uh, what does he come with? Oh, he comes with the- oh, of course he comes with a personal weapon. Saint Sword, high critical rate. Okay, so it's just like a super Wudao, I guess? Okay. I wonder if Fear can use this. That'd be kind of cool. Let's give him a spin, shall we? Let's give him a spin. Let's see if the Saint Sword is effective against dragons. It's not, but look at that. Look at his crit rate. <laughs> look at his crit rate. Does he kill a dragon straight up? No, actually he doesn't. He will take some damage here, but that's okay. Ah, yeah. Ugh. I really want to see if Fear can use this, because if she can, that's pretty cool. Wait, is the Ekasok good against Vyvern Riders? It is a legendary weapon, but I don't know if it's actually good against dragons. I should probably test that. It is. Oh, do look at that. Okay, well, I'm gonna do this first. Oh, she can talk to him. Uncle Corral! Ah, oh, fear, fancy meeting you here. Wh what are you doing in a place like this? I live here. After all my travels around the world, I decided to settle here. Uncle, I must tell you something. Mother, she... Your father told me. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you. I'm sure it must have been difficult. Aw, oh, wait, 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 wait. Talking isn't supposed to end the turn. What the hell? Not cool, game. Not cool. It's not supposed to end the... God damn it. Alright, can I kill... I don't know if I can kill these guys. Probably can't. I'll need to trade away my bolting if I want to do this. Hopefully Gwyneth can kill with the purge here. I hope she can. Uh, yeah, please equip an air caliber, I guess. Okay, I can kill this guy. So only one Vyvern remains, but that's still pretty scary, because Gwyneth is made of paper. Yeah, I don't think tall combos are normally supposed to end the game, so I think that might be a bit of a glitch. Or end the game, I mean. End the turn. Aw, <laughs> oh, yeah, the could. The could pretty damn good, man. So what are we gonna do now? Are we just gonna warp Roy with the Exosox? I feel- I kinda feel like that's what I wanna do. Or we can give Roy the Exosox. I always think egg sack. I don't... <laughs> I mean, egg sack pretty good, but yeah, as I said, I'm gonna show you- I think- I don't think I showed you guys its style. I had a look at it during battle preps. It- it is really damn good. Like, it's extremely good, but it gives- it gives- it grants 3 to strength, skill, and speed, but it also weighs 18, 17, I think, so it slows Roy down by 9 points? Something like that? It's 8 points, so... But it should still be doable, I think. Anyway, how are we going to do this, I wonder? Uh, I don't think Saul can borrow that. No, he cannot. I don't have any bolting users, so I'm just gonna have to live with that guy. He has a Force Slayer. That's a little bit scary. Actually, there might be a way. Uh, nah, I could try and purge, maybe? And try purging again? Actually, there is a way I can kill this guy, now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, there is actually a way I can- No, never mind, I used up my last longbow. I can hope that I crit with Perch. It's worth a shot, I guess. Nah. Didn't happen. 
But I might have put him into heal mode. I don't know. Could be. All right, Nime. It's actually kind of scary to keep Nima around here. I don't know if I want to do that. So I think we'll just equip the Oriola. Good Sane Staff. Eh, why not? Got a lot of injured people. So there's one Vyvern left. As long as he doesn't kill any of my guys, I think we should be okay here. But I think what I want to do with Roy is I want to pop a Pure Water and then dance for him, and then we could probably try warping him with Nima or something. I do, I do need to actually have Murn the Warp Staff, though. That's something I actually got to remember to do. And uh, yeah, let's uh, shoot down this guy from 3 range. Kaboosh. Hopefully Dion doesn't get killed by the Vyvern Lord with the Horse Slayer. I don't think he will. Horse Slayer is pretty scary, but it shouldn't do that much damage. Yay, skill. But Nima, I think, will die, so I actually gotta keep her away. Uh, if I equip the Worm Slayer, things might be a little bit better. Yeah, so I'll uh, Hummer in the Warp Staff, and then I think I'll just Warp Roy up. We'll have some fun with that. I guess this little squad can go this way. Do I have a Worm Slayer on a slow Actually, I actually don't think I do. I should have had that. That was kind of dumb. But I do have the Durandal. Uh, nope. That's... <laughs> I was like, that's not enough damage. It should do way more damage than this. Oh, boy. That's a very dead Viver. Nice one, OJR. Is it... I wonder, Ogier, Ogier? Could it be Ogier? Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Axe Reaver, yeah, that's not gonna work. I think we'll just uh, do a good old Air Calibre here, boys. Let's not waste the four blaze. We might actually need it. I have no idea what they're gonna do with Aidun. Um, like, considering how broken the Binding Blade is, if that thing is effective against her, I don't see how, how she can be challenging without, like, amping her stats through the roof. Because the Binding Blade has, like, 20 might. That's, yay, Thunder Thunder Energy leveled up again. It has like 20, isn't it 20 Might on that thing? 20 Might, so 60 effective Might against Lydon. So for that thing to just not obliterate her, obliterate her right away, she needs to have like 40 or 50 defense, or else she's just gonna die. Oh God. Oh, very nice, very nice. Wow, those guys are a lot faster than I thought. Man, the Exox is actually really fucking good. It doesn't matter if you don't double with it, I think. Okay. Those snipers are gonna continue being very annoying. Yeah. You can kind of bait their ammo out, though. That is a good way to deal with them. Oh, come on. Really? No. Ah! <sighs> what a map. This is actually way more challenging than when a life is six. I'll give it that. I'll give it that, but only barely. All right, so I managed to get through the first couple of turns without dying. Progress. However, I do believe it's time for a little Roy Warparino here. I know you guys are tired of this same old tune, but I actually really want to see how Roy does with the XX and the Pure Water. I think he actually is probably going to do pretty well, as long as he has some defensive terrain. So, I'm going to do the old Warparino. Ho 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 Okay, that's actually pretty epic. There we go. God, that's a Nima warp if I ever saw one. And yeah, I think I'm just going to Ekasak. Oh wow, it actually doesn't one-shot. What the hell? Well, I can't use the Binding Blade. It will break, so... Hmm. That's an interesting sword animation. Is that literally just Sephiel's sword animation right there? I guess it might be. All right, so we got some uh, dudes coming this way. What does this guy have? An Axe Reaver. I think I'll just stay here with uh, Garada, honestly. I'll send Melody and uh, Thea to uh, deal with these two snipers on the island. They both have, they both have um, Delphi shields, so it should be okay. Oh, cool, that's right. Gwynevere has a Fortify staff. Wait, does the Fortify Staff exist on FE6? I guess, does it? I'm trying to think now. Where do you get it? Where did they hack it in? So I know the Saint Staff. Ah, uh, actually it might be. I don't know. I, I should know this. I'm like the FE6 guy. It's a bit embarrassing that I don't know this, but seriously, is the, is the Fortify Staff in FE6? 
We might be. I don't know. Anyway, that guy is dead. And by the way, I tested. Uh, Fear cannot use the Saint Sword, sadly. I mean, it makes sense. She's not the Sword Saint yet. Soon, though. It would have been a little bit silly if she could use it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't fight a lot with Saul, do I? <laughs> I don't really fight with him at all, really. Here we go. So the question is, should everyone else move up to help Roy, or should we just let Roy solo everything? Hmm. Questions, questions. You know, I kind of like that the Ekazak doesn't just one-shot dragons, because if it did, it'd be kind of stupid. Uh, all right, there's some more guys coming here. I actually think I kind of want to rescue Dion and get him out of here. Yeah, I think I will do that. So what do we have here? Regular Sage. I mean, Soul, do we really want... Do we really want Soul to fight these guys? He's just gonna get crit, isn't he? Yeah, let's, uh... Let's play it a little bit safely, shall we? Let's give Fear a Rune Sword. Oh, I can't get Bartrain range of her, though. That's a little bit annoying, but... We'll figure something out. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll just wait here with Garrett, honestly. Yeah, I'll wait a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Alina will stay within three tiles of him to give him that support. Yeah, as you can see, like, oh! Yeah, because the Ekasex is so heavy, then that means Roy can't just dodge everything, so you have to actually rely on his defense, which isn't that good, and I think a lot of these guys have horse layers. This guy's gonna die very, very hard. But yeah, I think a lot of these guys probably have horse layers to prevent you from doing exactly this. Silver Sword. So far, I'm pretty lucky. Yeah, as if Roy wasn't OP enough, like, <laughs> let's give him an unbreakable 1 to 3 range sword. That's also effective against Drake. At this point, you probably just want to make the Binding Blade unbreakable. If you're going to go this route, just make the Binding Blade unbreakable. Because what's the point, right? If you're gonna if you're gonna give me an unbreakable one three range short anyway, might just might as well be the binding blade, am I right? I like the fact that you get the Ekasax. I do like that. It's a cool little feature. I always wondered why Roy never picked it up to begin with, since it's clearly a legendary weapon. It's it clearly has some sort of role to play because it like lights the way, but it, its position in the mythos is not that established. I guess Hartmut kinda dual wielded it. That's sort of like the the idea. Am I gonna lose Carol now? Am I gonna lose Corel? I'm gonna lose Corel, aren't I? God fucking damn it, I hate this map. Yay, there's Eclipse Tomes! Woo! When I saw the Eclipse Tome, I just had to begin recording again. Okay, well, Roy took a lot of damage, and now there's a bunch of dudes coming his way. The question is, can he deal with those dudes? I don't know, it's gonna be tough, I think. But... Sounds fun, I guess. Let's pop an elixir. We can probably use the Binding Blade to heal, but that's that's probably not a very good idea. Eh, let's actually do this. Let's not face everyone at once, shall we? Anyway, these guys are probably out of ammo right now, but I don't care. Oh, shit, wait. Uh, do I actually need the Malta to kill here? I guess I do. Actually, Thea doubles probably naturally, unlike Melody, so I actually don't think uh, Melody can kill with the Malta either, but yeah. What can you do? Actually, no, they have two arrows left, so it's nice to actually be able to take them out. Come on, get a crit. No! I think, oh, it's just a regular archer, actually. That's kind of funny. Huh, alright. Okay, well, Gary took a big hit. And I can't really one-shot these guys, can I? Do I have a halberd? I do not. I have a brave axe, though. That should be enough. What? Oh god, he has an Axe Reaver. Oh my god, why didn't I notice? Okay, I think I need the Saint Staff again. Uh, yeah, I definitely need the Saint Staff. Uh, Armads for defense, maybe? Oh no. Wait, okay. I kill with their, I kill with their caliber, thank god. Okay, hopefully Lelina's okay here. There's two Paladins, I think she might actually die. Uh, I'm scared right now. What do they have? Brave sword. Ah, oh, that's awful. Uh, I can rescue, actually. You know what? I think I will do that. 
Yeah, you know what? Yoink. Whoop. <laughs> Sorry, Garrett. You're on your own, buddy. <laughs> you are on your own, buddy. Oh, that's right. Yeah, do you want to see overkill? This is overkill right here. Yeah, that's overkill right there. Bartra the overkill. Okay, my Gren, uh, I kind of want to give her a spin with the Mulligir at some point too, but I feel like she doesn't really need it. Like, I mostly use her to take out Vimer Lord since she does that pretty nicely anyway with a regular bow. It's not... Weren't there more mana kits here in the vanilla F6 version? Am I, or am I just misremembering that? Anyway, should I waste my last perch on this guy? I don't think that's necessary. Do you? Sounds a little bit excessive. Anyway, let's, uh... I might just killing edge this guy. He could crit me if I don't crit him back, but... I am Manx, and everything's gonna be alright. Yeah, it would kind of be nice to take out that druid so I don't have to watch the eclipse animation. <laughs> that's that's my reasoning right here. I don't want to watch the freaking eclipse animation. Okay, what if I uh, okay, what if I attack him with bolting first and then eclipse and then purge? I mean, yes, that's how much I hate eclipse. That is how much I hate eclipse. If I do two purges now, it should do it. I think. I could cred, that'd be hilarious. Nah. It's okay, I'll kill him next turn then. <laughs> Unless he gets physicked or something. And then I think I shall Saint Staff. Just to get everyone up. I Is the Saint Staff treated as one of the weapons that needs to be intact for the last... for to get the good ending? I actually don't think so. I also don't know why you don't get any experience from it. That always, like, really rubbed me the wrong way. Like, you should get 100 experience from using the same staff. It's a freaking legendary staff. Why not? I don't... I never really... But I don't actually think the same staff needs to be, uh... Needs to be... Because it, it's not... Wasn't it... Because Elamine... Saint Elamine wielded the Oro Orolia. The Saint staff, I think, is just some generic S-rank staff from the church. It's not actually, like, a legendary weapon. Alright, that's one hit. Let's see if, uh, let's see if their good luck streak continues. It seems like as long as I don't have weapon triangle disadvantage, the Ekusak does kill. And that's another hit. Okay, uh, we're off to an awful start. I can take probably two more hits, I imagine. Before falling. But I don't know if all of them can attack me still. Come on, really? Hopefully the others are, 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 are out of range. I pray that they're out of range. Uh, they're probably not out of range, are they? It's a brave sword. God fucking damn it. Fuck this game. Uh, hi, we're back. And my milady just got berserked. And my Thea just got put to sleep. Okay. I think I have a saint stuff used left. <laughs> Uh, oh wow, those guys really knows how to hit their status stakes, don't they? Wow. Oh, he went for Nemus. I didn't have to watch the Eclipse animation. What a win. Okay. Uh, something tells me that if I move Roy in here, he's gonna get obliterated, right? I don't know, he has a lot of rests, actually. We'll probably be okay. But I'd like to refresh my pure water. So actually, you know what? Yeah, I think I will use... I think I have one Saint Staff remaining. Let's use that. Actually, I actually have two Saint Staffs remaining. That's great. Because I can use that to uh, cure all the status. Maybe we can get Milady and Thea out of there now. Or we can move them closer in and use them all to... Ooh, okay. That's actually a little bit scary. I don't know if I want to do that. Huh. I mean, as long as I kill the dragon, right? Should be okay. I don't know if they... I don't know if they want to go for Roy now, or... But... I kind of want to do this now. Ha ha ha! Let's go! Pure water! Woo! This is a bad idea! This is a really bad idea, I don't... I... I kind of deserve to die now. But let's do this. Don't crit me, please. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. I was the one who credited. 
I am the one who knocks. There we go. Good job, Thea. <sighs> Bad job, Thea. Go back. What happens if I rescue someone and get berserked? I think I, I think that happened to me during an Iron Man stream once, actually. I'm, oh, perfect damage. Perfect damage by Eclipse Druid. What? Actually, I have no idea. What does happen? If you... I think it... If I remember correctly, I think Percival picked up Nima once, and then he got... I'm pretty sure... Okay, I'm gonna do this, just for fun. Just because I want to watch Lelina get rescued from... I shouldn't do it, but it was too tempting. That was hilarious. Okay, what if I try and make him target Kath? Because I think she should be pretty far down in the deployment order. If I make them target Kath... Oh, hi. Okay, I'm already regretting this decision. I think this was probably a pretty shady decision, but... We'll see if the heroes around Bronya moves or not. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, I don't know. Uh, hi. Burn will never die. Even if I fall, Burn will rise once more. Oh, they got... Oh, cool. New animations. And an Eclipse Tome, which might actually hit. Never mind. Does Bronya have a battle coach in FE6? Oh, okay, we get to see it, actually. Okay, so she's carrying around Thea while... <laughs> That's actually hilarious. She should just kill Thea. Please don't hit. Okay, thank you. If you case you don't know, status tapes are 1RN, so... Okay, we still live, I guess. Does Brunya have a battle coat? And, uh... I seem to recall her... She doesn't, actually. I don't know why. I just seem to recall the fact that she doesn't usually say something. Is it because she usually has bolting equipped? I actually don't know. <laughs> Hacks. <Ugh. laughs> That's so broken. Roy's in a mountain now with three range. Suck it. Okay, I don't know what Melody's gonna do, actually. I have no idea. I have no clue what Melody's gonna do, but it doesn't really, these guys don't really matter because this is all gonna come down to Roy anyway. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I think that warrior has a bow. Oh, wait, what? You can see animations when people are berserked? That's so cool. I just realized that. They actually... I never understood why you don't get to see animations when people are berserked. I actually like that a lot. Oh, here we go. Dire bolts. Doesn't matter, though. Roy broken. Man, I love these new animations. They're so cool. Oh, Branya's so freaking hot. Okay, I like the fact that she has a, like, a, a ranged siege tome. That's actually kind of cool. I think the light blade is pretty heavy, so there's a chance Roy might actually double this guy. Nah. Yeah, this is scary. I think Melody's gonna get doubled now. Yeah, I'm so dumb. Was that my Malted? Was that my freaking Malted? Ugh, I hate this map. God, that's a lot of fails. Uh. <laughs> Guys. So we're playing this map, and this time around, Roy got berserked. <laughs> and now he's using up my binding blade! No! <laughs> he's breaking my binding blade! <laughs> this is so stupid! Oh no! I do think it's gonna break now. Why did you equip the binding blade? Oh my god, this is so incredibly stupid. Is he actually gonna be okay? Because he's bers- I God damn it. Oh, uh, uh, what's going on here? Huh? Oh, it's this- oh, this guy has to sleep stuff. It might be fine. I think he has, like, one use left. I think he has one- literally- yeah, okay. Nope, nope. He's still berserked. <laughs> He's one use left of the Binding Blade. Okay, the only choice that I have right now is to Saint Staffen. It is literally the only choice I have, is to Saint Staffen. I, 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 yeah, and I have to break my Saint Staff, so let's just hope I don't need it in the Dragon Temple. That's all I can say, really. So, yeah, let's, uh, God, Nima is, uh, yeah, no, I need to use the Saint Staff, so let's just, there we go. 
Saying stuff broke, understandable. Have a nice day. I just gotta pray Roy doesn't get berserked again, I guess. Look at the experience gains. Okay, if that is like required against Idun or something, then I am screwed. Okay, uh. Physic. Oh god, they're trapping me. They're trapping me. God damn, maybe I should warp someone else in to help Roy. Maybe I'll do that, actually. I don't know who that would be, though. Uh, I could warp in Corel, maybe? He seems pretty good. Or the Rukud, actually, with the with its rest. I don't know, it's gonna have to be someone who can take on these guys, and I don't think these guys can. I, what if I warp in... Okay, I have an idea, actually. I have an idea. That's right. Barter and Fear. You gotta help out Roy over here. You gotta help out Roy. He needs help. He needs help. There we go. It's okay, I still have warp staves left. And I probably won't be using that many in the Dragon Temple anyway, because you have to kind of like walk that map the old, the old way. There we go. This is probably a horrible idea. I don't know why I think this is a good idea. These guys are just gonna get berserked, aren't they? Tempest Blade? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just take out all the status stuffs. There you go. Uh, that's right. Hopefully Fear is able to dodge Branya. We shall see if she does or not. And then we can put Bartra here. I guess we can equip a better weapon, though. We can equip the Wudao, maybe. And then Bartra can kill this guy with the Mulligir. And then we just gotta pray, I guess. Now, there is actually a shop to the left of here. I don't remember if it sells anything good, but I always found that shop a bit puzzling. I think they sell some dragon weapons, or some dragon slaying weapons. No, actually, this shop just sells tomes for whatever reason. It's kind of stupid, but that's just how it works. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> she can actually kill him. Uh-oh. 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 No, Bartra, no! Bartra, no! God, no, I don't want to play this map again. No, 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 no. No, God! Oh, thank you. God. Whew. Let's hope the heroes don't kill him. What are they doing? Huh? Oh, eclipsing the bard. That's a great idea. Wait, why don't they... Wait, what? What's up with this AI? They have brave weapons. Is this Kill Bronya, by the way? Is that the... Oh, no, it's Seascape. Alright, Fear versus Bronya. Let's go. Yep, that's an easy way. This is, you know, why I think bosses should have luck. Because this will just happen. Your Highness, let me be by your side again, like before. But let's be real, the, the, the difficult part about Branya is, like, getting to her. Once once you've cleared the way to her, she falls really quickly. She always has. Ooh! Uh, wow, okay, these guys are pretty scary. Maybe we can get a crit? Let's go, Bartra! Nah, okay. Okay, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Finally did it. How many tries was that? Six? Pretty tough map. I'll, I'll give it that. Pretty tough map. Oh, I see. The dragon we saw at, at the beginning. That was actually Yawn, I think. This is the dragon sanctuary? The dark priestess is in here? Almost assuredly, but something is bothering me. What's that? Legends of the Scouring say the dragon sh sanctuary has the power of dragons. <laughs> wow, really? What does that mean? The sanctuary's power is said to protect the dragons themselves. What? I don't understand. I believe the dragons in the sanctuary may be more powerful than those outside. Do you think we still have a chance against them? Probably, but only with the legendary weapons. It's better to be safe than sorry. It'll take those of us who can wield legendary weapons into the sanctuary. Choose wisely. Once inside, we may be unable to leave freely. Should have had different music here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, join us next time. So we take on the final sanctuary of the dragons. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully they did something to make it interesting, because the final map in FE6 is pretty fucking boring. <laughs> See ya.